Hey guys and welcome to the RAV07 channel. Today we have a review and demo of the brand new iOS 4.2 for iPad. So after much anticipation, Apple finally released the long awaited iOS 4.2 in November 2010. The new software update is a free download and is compatible with the iPod Touch, iPhone and iPad. The first feature is actually hardware related. Previously the switch on the device was an orientation lock but as you can see now it is a silent switch. You can still access a control panel by double tapping the home button and sliding to the left. Here you can lock and unlock the orientation, adjust brightness, control music, change the volume and that's about it iOS 4.2 now brings multitasking for iPad. You can now be more productive with quick access to all running applications and tasks. So if for example you are in Safari and want to access another application, simply double tap the home button which should bring up all of your recent apps. The next new feature is folders. With iOS 4.2 you now have the ability to organize applications and declutter your home screens. To create a folder simply press and hold an app until it jiggles and drag it on top of another app. You can then see that both apps are contained within a folder and the folder will be named automatically based on the type of apps you have but obviously you can change that if you wish. Another new addition is AirPrint giving you the ability to print emails, photos, web pages and documents right from your device. To demonstrate this we can go to Safari and click the arrow next to the URL bar which brings us the option to print. Now you can then select a printer, now I don't have a printer selected but if you did you could choose the amount of copies and print wirelessly. AirPlay is another new feature which allows you to stream digital media wirelessly from your device to your Apple TV or AirPlay enabled speakers. This allows you to watch movies and photos on your TV and play music through the speakers in your home. The Mail app has also been updated. As you can see there is a brand new unified inbox which brings up all of your latest messages giving you quick access to your latest emails. Also new to the iPad is Game Center. Apple's gaming app which lets you play your favorite games with friends to try and beat their high scores. Game Center came both to iPhone and iPod Touch earlier in the year, but it is a welcomed addition for iPad users. There are many other features that have been introduced in iOS 4.2, but the main ones were highlighted in this video. For a full list, visit apple.com forward slash iOS. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video, and please come back to the Ravo 7 channel for more great technology videos.